Hello friends, today we make automatic plant watering system. Now start the project. First we open Tinkercad. This is a Tinkercad dashboard and first we search the component. First we search Arduino UNO. Drag and drop here. Click here and drag here. Again we search Relay. Relay. Now we search soil moisture sensor. This is a soil moisture sensor. There is three pin power, ground, and signal. Power means positive, and ground means negative. Again we search supply. Supply for motor. And drag and drop here. Now we search motor for the water pump. This is a water pump motor. Now last one I search LED. LED. You have to select RGB LED and take one resistor. I have selected one resistor also. Now, now I have taken all the components and connect the circuit. First we connect soil moisture sensor. In the soil moisture sensor there is 3 pin. Power pin connect to the 5 volt of the Arduino. I have connected 5 volt. This is a 5 volt connection. Also we have to change color red because it's a positive. And second one is a ground. Connect to the ground of the Arduino. Ground means GND also, negative also. This is a GND pin. This is also ground. Now select black. And signal pin connect to the analog of the Arduino analog A0. This is the analog portion A0 to A5. This is a digital 0 to 13. Now change the color. I have put it the yellow. All moisture is connected. Now connect the relay module. There is 4, 6 pin, terminal 12 pin connect to the supply. I have connected to the positive of the supply and make red. And terminal number 7 connect to the ideal pin. Any digital pin you have to connect. I have connected any pin. I have connected digital pin 3. You have to connect any digital pin 0 to 13. Okay. Now, also change the color. Now, we have to put terminal number 6. Terminal number 6 connect to the load. I have connected to the load. I have connected to the load. And second terminal connect to the in the motor there is no positive and negative. You have to connect any terminal positive and negative. Now terminal second connect to the negative of the supply. Now motor is connected and terminal 5 connect to the ground of the Arduino. I have connected to the ground of the Arduino. And change the color black. Then you can identify what color is. It's a negative pin and it's a positive and it's a signal pin connect to the different color pin. Brown. Now, now we have connect the motor also and soil moisture sensor. Now we have connect the LED, RGB LED. In the RGB LED, there is two type of LED: common cathode on camera, common anode. You have to change also. You can see midget pin. This is a common cathode. In the common cathode, we have to put the resistor. Cathode means negative. Negative is common. Then second terminal goes to the negative of the Arduino. And also change the value of resistor. 330. I have selected the 330 ohm. And we have to put red and green LED. If the red LED is glow, then motor is off condition. If the green LED is on, the motor is 
on condition this is a green we have to collect the green number 10 now select the green color now now circuit is completed we have to make a code click on the code section this is a code you have to click this code if you are using sensor then always create a variable click on the variable and create variable you have to type false because i am using a false sensor go to the you have to see there is three block is generated take set block after that go to the input section because i have connected to the analog pin if i connect to the digital pin we have to read digital pin but i have connected to analog so read analog pin block put here after that we have to see the value see the value in serial monitor go to the serial monitor section go to the output block and print to serial monitor you have to rub the hello world in the hello world you have to put the soil block because i want to see the soil moisture sensor value and now start and click on the this is a serial monitor click here you can see the value is zero soil moisture can take soil moisture sensor is in dry condition then value is zero if the wet condition this is a wet condition you have you have to see this is a water and there is no water wet condition is 800 value and dry condition is zero you have to put the condition like that go to the control block stop this simulation and go to the control block go to the if and else block and another go to the math section this triangle block you have to compare the value to the soil moisture tensor go to the variable and put the soil block after that you have to put the value 100 If the sensor value is less than 100, means sensor is in dry condition, then motor and green LED is on. Go to the output and take three blocks: one, two, two, and three. Because one block is motor, second block is red LED, third block is green LED. Motor is connected to the three pin. You have to select three and make high. Green LED connect to the ten. We have to select ten and high. Red LED is connect to the eleven pin. Then go to the term set pin eleven and high to become low because in that condition green red LED is off. Now right click and duplicate this block and put it here. Change the condition. If the sensor is in dry condition, wet condition. then motor is off motor is off and green led is off only red led is on right now code section is completed click on the start simulate and also open the serial monitor then you can check the value also you have to see motor is rotating you see motor is rotating and green led is on and the value is zero means less than 100 if the sensor is in dry condition if the soil is wet condition this is a wet condition then you can see red led is on and motor is off you have to put the condition like that and code is completed if you, if you are making hardware project you can make this condition circuit and go to the click on the block and go to the block plus text you have got the text code also text code link also given in the description also the project link also given in description you can check the project if the if your project is not working if any if you have any problem you also comment also you can see if the sensor is dry condition then green led on and motor is rotating motor means pump water pump water pump is operating if the sensor is in wet condition then motor of and red led is glowing thank you friends